Now you should be ready to come with me or come to India with me. Yeah. And we should go where? In the bank of Ganges. Where Triveni is there. From ancient times this place is very secret. Sacred. Where? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was there and Sanatan Goswami came and met him on the bank of Ganges, on Dasha Swami They are talking to each other and Mahaprabhu is inspiring him. So let us go there. Have a seat there and then he. You know, that what is the process that a, do, a devotee should go in that process to any high class of any devotee? The process which Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami for be penniless, first be Sarnagati. Surrender yourself. Six items there. And be dependent on Krishna. He will support us, nourish us. We have this faith. 
in any way he cannot be found. So these six lengths of Saranagati should be first. And ten minutes. No short, no pocket. And no bhoti. Only up to here. If you have anything, any pocket, any shirt, anything, oh Mahaprabhu will always be cut off. What is Unless you will be cut Like Akapapu Kutu. But this is the First belief should be on this. If he has created lakhs and lakhs universe and he is supporting, nourishing all, even creatures in Ocean, on air, on earth, here and there, he will not accept. He must what support him. Because he has promised. He has promised. He has not only promised, he has told his dearest devotee, for you to if I am doing any promise, it may be wrong. But if my devotees is promising, oh, I must do I must promise. Okay. Now, what is the meaning? And in Nome Bhakta Pranashati, Nabi, never, never, never. So, <clears throat> now, Mahaprabhu is fully satisfied by this sign that. And he promised that I will follow you. Then Guru gives anything. First you are going to any your devotee with Tattva Darshi, knowing all conclusion is support. And three things will be there. Pranipatena, Pariparasmena, Pranipat, like Sanatana Goswami to Mahaprabhu. Pariparasna. Oh, he is asking so many questions, 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 but not questions. Pariparasna. Fairly in humble way. If I am qualified, over to If I am and then, Pariparsanena Shevaya, Shevaya, what Shiva? What Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ordered in, in oh, to establish temple, to, to publish so many books, and Vedic culture, oh, he did. All this, Haritvyap, the Lord, he did. Oh, Tikan Srimad Bhagavatam. Commentary to Srimad Bhagavatam. Commented so many things. We have Bhagavatam best. So he fulfilled the desire of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Now Sanatana Kursam is so humble. Not like, oh, like a friend you went to your, any, your devotee and took a chair. And sit it. All good. I will tell you, not challenging. Tabe Sanatan Prabhu de Charan Dharia, Daina Binati Kare, Dante, Dante, Dina. Have you? Petanate Tamri by Samiji, Oksanatan Gosami, Toksan. Why? I am more wretched than this. Oh, no. I will follow your order. So this is the tendency of anyone who is going to any high class of this. You can remember your Guru Dev. I can remember more than you. Mm -hmm. Have 
change his humble ways to devotee. So Sri Patsidhar Maharaj, my Guru Dev, so Sharan Bhakti Sharan Goswami Maharaj. So many ayats in their counsel, how humble they want. You connect image in him. But as he is humble. So, giving them so much honor, like a star taking something and it is your feet. And to fear. Very humble. That is why we became so successful. He telling Nichi Jati, Nichi Sangi, Patitadham, Krishim Akhitam, Kubishai, Kupe Padi, Gamai Nidhi. What? Oh, see, see. One should begin. Dr. Goswami said, I was born in a lot of family. Sanatana Goswami said, I was born in a low family and my associates are all low class men. I myself am fallen and am the lowest of men. Indeed, I have passed my whole life fallen in the well of sinful materialism. Our spiritual master, Srila Prabhupada Nityavila Pradishta Om. Is that his writing? No, he's translating it from Srila Krishna. That is so bright to be. What are you telling? Or is it good? Read it again. Again. Sanatana Goswami said, I was... Again, listen. Sanatana Goswami said, I was born in a low family, and my associates are all low-class men. I myself am fallen, and I'm the lowest of men. Indeed, I have passed my whole life fallen in the well of sinful materialism. Oh, Sanatana Goswami was very high class of Brahmin family. Very high class of, very learned. From previous, was very pure and offered to Krishna, surrender. But even how he humbly is telling, I'm of low class. Why? Can you tell this, these words to any your Shiksha Guru, Diksha Guru? Then, oh, very rare. But your telling and behavior should be one. I think you can. Very humble, more than anyone. He is realizing himself and telling. Oh, you know Srimati Radhika. What she is telling? Oh, I am more than a straw, dry straw. I have no love and affection for Krishna. Even a little drop. I want to take it, but in the family of Pulindi, very low cloud. I want to be uh, clouds. I want to be river Yamuna. I want to be a deer, cow cow. But they have love and affection for Krishna? I have not. So she is telling lie. Sanatan Goswami is telling lie. We cannot understand. He is telling all right. From his side. But he really is not like so. So we should try to follow. And if you are not following, oh, you are but cheated. You are cheating yourself. But how you can think if you are not attending the association of high class of Krishna? Oh, these are the etiquette, this is the process by which we can go to any high class. You went to 
Lord Prabhupada. For this, we have no, we were not fortunate so much. We have not heard from any Siksha Guru that who was he and that is why for so many problems. So be like this. Apna kitahi kichu na jani, gramme bevahare pandi tai sakte parimani, kripa pari jadi more pagya chaudhar, apna kripate paho kartu jama. What is the beginning? Om, all this. Don't bring me. Srila Sanatana Goswami is continuing. I do not know what is beneficial for me and what is detrimental. Nonetheless, in ordinary dealings, people consider me a learned scholar. And I am also thinking of myself as such. Out of your causeless mercy, you have delivered me from the materialistic path. Now, by the same causeless mercy, please tell me what my duty is. Jami, kene amaya jare tapatra, jana jani kemene hitaha. Who am I? Why do the threefold miseries always give me trouble? If I do not know this, how can I be benefited? Actually, I do not know how to inquire about the goal of life and the process for obtaining it. Be merciful to me, and please explain all these truths. Who are you? Yes, sir. Who are you? Part name, father's name, and Material name? I am don't tell. I am simply asking. Who are you? Any name? Just to them with us. Uh, oh, in Gul of Vrindavan, no place to be. <laughs> he is in Malikur Chakra. It means that you don't know. We all, we don't know. Sanatana Goswami is not telling false. He knows that he is long with him. But now, Yogamaya is covered. And he is playing a part of Sadhak Vishak practitioner. So we should try to follow him. I know that any one of our council, there are no realization required. For us, he has questioned Mahaprabhu that K Ami. What is the meaning? It is called Sambandhata. So many things will come. And Sanatana Goswami has that plan. Why am I? Eternal Sadhana. At first Mahaprabhu told, Oh, you know of everything. And you are expert in this thing. And you can make Uddhara of whole world. You can do Whole world. And you can help them to be pure Krishna conscious. But even you are asking for others, I go. And he told so many slopes. Oh, you are very qualified person. I'm telling you, who are you? And then he told, Yevere Sarupahe Nitya Krishna Das 
Perhaps I know that oh, all of you, those who are senior questions, of Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami, they know this two lines. Jivaya Swarupa hai, then Krishna. You also try to remember. These words are transcendental. They can be healthy. Oh, coming from the mouth of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. These are more than Vaidas. More than Vaidas. Where is Sarupha Nitya Krishna Das? Oh, all the Jiva, Jiva, all the living entities, where here, there, all are Nitya Das, eternal fermenter. Even they got Baladev Prabhu, Nanda, Yasuda, Garga, Chant, Sandilya, all, all are servants of Krishna, anyhow servants. And then Krishna Tatasta Shakti, Veda Vedi, what he has translated. It is the living entity's constitutional. Right to hear not talking. It is the living entity's constitutional position to be an eternal servant of Krishna because he is the marginal energy of Krishna and a manifestation simultaneously one and different from the Lord, like a molecular particle of sunshine or fire. Krishna has three varieties of energy. Mm. What? Just as then, he... What you told? Oh, can you tell what he, the Prabhupada told? You can, can you repeat what in translation he told? Jivaya Sarukhani Tepe Can you? The living, the living entity is the marginal energy of the Lord, and he's the eternal servant Lord, simultaneously one way that yet different from the Lord, as the molecular part of the sun, the fire of the sun. Any example? Like a particle of sunlight or a fire? Spark. Then, Krishna Bhodi Sri Anadi Bahimu. Oh, 117. Forgetting Krishna, the living entity has been attracted by the external feature from time immemorial. Therefore, the illusory energy, Maya, gives him all kinds of misery in his material existence. Again, I want to hear. Forgetting Krishna, the living entity has been attracted by the external feature from time immemorial. Therefore, the illusory energy Maya gives him all kinds of miseries in material existence. Oh, you should know, with all the languages of universe, are not friendship. But Krishna and Jivas and his what manifestations all are transcendent. Any worldly language cannot speak thoroughly about transcendental things. Sometimes malice 
of language will come and you cannot define soul. There must be some something like it, effective. If Krishna is forgetting, what word he has written? Forgotten. Forgotten. Then forgotten means what is the meaning? Oh, he knew, but he forgot. Forgot. At first, in originally he was knowing him, serving him, but anyhow, any reason, a special reason, he forgot. This meaning will come, but this is defect. Also, we will see and judge that if Guru is telling something and he has told something before and now he is telling and it may be some contradictory thing. But if Guru is bona fide, anything not wrong. We will have to reconcile. How? By the words of previous acharyas in his line, whom he has accepted. Like Sanatana Goswami, Rupa Goswami, Jeev Goswami, Krishna Daskati Raj Goswami, like Bhakti Vinod Thakur, or Narottam Thakur, Vishwana Chagvarti Thakur, or Baladev Vidya Bhushan in Thakur. We will see that he is telling in his line or not. And what they are telling, but he is telling some contradictory, this and that both, can we should decide by the words of the gurus he has accepted. And Shastra and Krishna has told. We should try to get by like that. And then, will have to reconcile. We know that very qualified and realized soul cannot tell anything lie. That is not true. But we will have to reconcile. Here he told, but he he has, he has not clarified who Krishna Dashkati Rajasana or Chaitanya Mahapuru is telling. But not so much clear. Again, come here. Oh, 102, 122. Maya Lubdha Jiva Nahi Krishna Ishmati Gyan Jiva Rikripaya Kaila Krishna Ved Puran. The conditioned soul cannot revive his Krishna consciousness by his own effort. But out of his causeless mercy, Lord Krishna compiled the Vedic literature and its supplements, the Puranas. Why he told this? Why? If Guru is following that Ved and Puran, he is telling to Ved Puran, according, or giving these some, some examples and some praman, evidence from Puran, then he is okay. All right. But if he is not the Veda and Quran not falling with all words, then there should be something. Like it. So we should see in Vedas and Quran. But we are not qualified to see. Here is the matter. But if you are senior, sincere, oh by hearing the high class of association, you can think about this. Here also not clear, or come again. <coughs> but we will have to uh, reconcile by Shastra and Guru Parampara. What my Guru Dev is telling? He cannot tell anything beyond their line. Never. Because he has accepted that line. 
Then Shri Gurudev asked the question. You are understanding what he is telling? Yes, Guru. Right? Those who are not, uh, those who are understanding, they should. Those who are understanding. What Manjari you understood? What? What he told. That um, Srimati Tulsi Devi should not, we should not think of her as mother because it's against the conjugal mood. <laughs> then Shri Gurudev um, asked the question why Krishna uh, sent back the wife of the Brahmins who um, came to offer, to bring an offering. <laughs> why he sent them back. And 
Srila Buddha explained that to uphold dharma, religious principles, and um, he explained also that Krishna wanted to give them his mercy, but in the next life they could um, get that mercy and... Yeah, because they were also mothers. Okay. And why is the problem? Try to remove all kinds of doubt. So, unlike the, unlike the gopis, the wives of the brahmanas, they, um, they were, because they were wives of brahmanas that upheld, to upheld dharma, and they were sent back. And also, in, of all... Anyone for brahmins, chatriya, or anything, sutra, anyone cannot enter in Krishna past time. Only gopi. Wow. And only the gopi who... Who do not have children. What is the harm if children? Bad example? No example for them. No. No. Bhakti maybe. No The gopis of Vrindavan wanted to go in wrong. Very, very much attracted to Krishna. But they were unqualified. <coughs> because they have children. And any of the gopis who were taking part in the Ras, anyone had no children. If first separation will come, and they will be burned, their mood will be burned, then with the help of gopis, Nitya Shukla, they can. But if they are children, oh, they can. If they are Brahmins and other cause, they can. Gopis, oh. In the guidance of Lalita Vishakha, by the mercy of Yoga Maya, other And what after that? Oh, no, 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 right. Oh, you so kind of. Well, first of all, Guru. They can understand. First of all, Gurudev, you told me not to chant loudly. <laughs> and no, no, I But when you are in collecting... Well, then, then you asked why Bhishma Pitamaha, why he was fighting against Krishna and Arjuna. And, Arjun. and why, if he was fighting against Krishna and Arjun, is he... Mahajan. You are understanding the question? Yes. Why is Mahajan fighting against the Lord Krishna? Yes. And the answer is because he understood the desire of the Lord to kill the demons. To establish the Yuga Dharma. And if Bhishma, help me out here. <laughs> if Bhishma didn't fight on the Kaurava side, then Duryodhana, I didn't have that in the notes, then Duryodhana never would have begun that war. So, he, because he knew he could not win without the power of Bhishma, because he was the great Maharata. So, therefore, Bhishma had to remain silent during the insulting of Draupadi. He had to remain silent during the cheating of Sakuni, because he knew that the plan of Krishna was to embark on the fratricidal Kurukshetra war which would 
kill all the demons and all the Chetrians. But if Bhishma didn't support Duryodhana, then Duryodhana never would have had the courage to begin that war. Therefore, understanding the desire of his worshipful Ishtadev, Lord Krishna, he remained silent and he pretended to fight against Krishna, but he never had any intention of killing the Pandavas or Krishna. But you, Maharaj also said that at the beginning of the battle, had Arjun not offered his, his arrow in respect to Bhishma, and Bhishma in turn granted him victory, then the battle would have been lost on this, the, the, uh, from Krishna's side. Another point also, that Duryodhana always told Bhishma that, oh, you are fighting on behalf of me, but always you are heavening to Arjun. Then Bhishma told, oh, tomorrow I shall come, tomorrow I shall kill 10,000 soldiers. But he never promised that I shall kill any family. <laughs> and also you said the glory of uh, allowing Draupadi to be the road yes. to show how Krishna will always all that hearing? What he's telling? What he told? You. What he told? More louder. Why this was silent when Sujodhan and Josasan were taking his job? Once, once, the Dhan became very worried. Vishan Pitam was not really fighting against Pandavas. He cheating me. And he went and told Vishan Pitama, why you are cheating me? I know that you don't want to. They pick Pandava. Oh, this is nothing like this. Lord Surya. And then, oh, one thing, if you have no belief on me, then you can believe by this. Or oh, to, today, in night, when I will be in trance of Krishna, Godhead. You should bring your wife. Name was Bhanumati. And at that time she will come to me and I will give a benediction, boon, that anyone cannot kill your husband. So you will be Sobhagyavati. Not fortunate. Sobhagyavati men never will go. Or never be good. And that's when you will be the better. Oh, he became very happy. And next night he became to unlighted. But in the night, so heavy rain, heavy rain, and so much cold, so much wind. <coughs> he told to his wife, Oh, I wanted to go to Krishna Pitama today in night. But so much heavy rain, how we can go? So let we will go to no harm. And then he was stopped and his heart, his wife was also stopped. But Krishna in heavy rain he told of the Arishaki Draupadi, come along me. We will go to Visham Pitama. He has promised to give a boon to his so Jodhan, why you should make a well like this? <laughs> and we should go in this way. It may be that Bhisham Pitama will waiting for the wife of Jodhan Panumati to be born. So we should not uh, miss this opportunity. Oh, come. And he took that chariot. And with umbrella he took Draupadi in chariot and there. 
just tell them that about soul. Happy then. Anyhow, he took again umbrella and sent Draupadi or inside the room of the Samkitama. She was in front. She was waiting, but bell was there. Oh, folding and sitting like in a prayer mood, on knees. Isampitama, after some time, oh, he opened his eyes and saw that, Oh, Bhanumati has come. Oh, Bhanumati, so Bhagavati Bhava. Akhanda so Bhagavati Bhava means, Naira Vidhi. Or, uh, you will be victorious and your husband should be victorious. Then Draupati <coughs> began to smile and he took his bed <laughs> and did pranam to Vishampitama. <laughs> oh, Vishampitama, oh, very wonderful. Oh, how you came? Oh, have you come alone? She smiled, no answer. Oh, tricky person. <laughs> the black person has come. Oh, where is he? Oh, she's just standing and waiting outside. Oh, call him. <laughs> and that person also entered. And then he. Oh, he was also as smiling that he, Sampitama, told. Oh, your mercy to Pandavas in unparalyzed. Anyone cannot depart from the big Pandavas. And Draupadi will be for always the Khanda Sobhagyavati. Where you are and Dhanukha Parat and where his chariot and where is a lady, chest lady like Draupadi, anyone cannot be free. Be victorious and so Vishampitama was a high class of people. But only thing, he was Jnani Bhakti. Jnani Bhakti, you know? Krishna has no appetite. He never tires. Tires? Tires. No appetite, nothing. Uh, anyone at any kind of arrow cannot touch him because he is transcendental, and arrow is not transcendental. So he used to, like Jnani Bhakta, like Sukhdev Goswami, and Sanakshanathan in his before life, past life, Sukhdev like past life. They have nothing to serve. He never served like this, but he helped. He felt the release of this. But he has some desire to get him. One thing. Cheto darpana marjanam bhauma dhavat minirvapana shaya kairava chandrika vitaranam vidya vadu jivanam anandam bodhi vardhanam pratipadam purunam vrita svadhanam sarvatma sapanam param vijayate What is the meaning? What? What? <coughs> what? Question? Oh, quickly. In the Navadri Baba Taranga, Bhakti Nava Thakur, he meets Bhishma Dev. And his spiritual Baba Taranga, Bhakti Nava Thakur, he meets with Bhishma Dev. Um, so my question is, uh, how did uh, Bhishma Dev attain uh, to uh, Navadri? How he, had, he attained all the, Navadri? All the associates of Krishna, whether Aishwarya or Madhurya, or the devotees of Ram, Nishinga, Kalki, Vaman, all were assembled there. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Narayan, Krishna, uh, Ram, Nishinga, Kalki, Bhaman, all were there. So to serve their 
و سفر بود این که این مهاپر بود آل ورد شو بیشتر تو تمام آل سوار کی دیگه وقتی آف لار کادیس If you are always asking, then you cannot hear more. Uh. <laughs> Never. So try to listen more. Ask after the others. Say to Dhanpar Marjan. Oh, yes, sir. Meaning only. Where is the camera? In trance? No, no. She was very colorful. And what was your question? Why sometimes Guru takes this thing inside? Why Guru is more involved in one's life? How I come up here? Not like women. Demon. More than women. When you say that the Guru knows the more the desire of the disciple the more the pressure. If he is a high class of a realized guru and qualified guru, then he will know. Otherwise, a kaljuki guru will not know. <laughs> Those who are deviated or they don't chant, have no attraction for Krishna and Hari Katha, and they are not realized, or they cannot know. But if a guru like this, Asking why Guru accepts demons as disciples. Oh, anyhow to help them. That if in his life one time he has chanted, even something good, see he makes him chant. And sometimes rejects. By reject how? By heart, not outward. In the first verse of Shri Shikshastakam, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Cheto Dharapana Marjanam, that the heart is like a mirror and it is covered by dust, and the chanting of Shri Krishna Sankirtan cleanses the dust from the mirror of the heart. No, never. How? Param Vijayate Shri Krishna Sankirtan. Oh, Param. Param means transcendental. If anyone chanting transcendental word, Shakta Brahma, in a process, then these seven fruits will come. Otherwise, never. So, Param Vijayate Sri Krishna Shanti How? In a process. You have been in a situation of very good devotion. Hearing and hearing. You will know our versatile deity is Krishna. He is supreme personality of God. He has so much affluence, but very much. And a desire to serve Krishna will come in him. Uh, then he will search any powerful guru, powerful guru. And by the help of the devotee, Sraman Guru, oh, he may choose his guru. And then he will start asking so many humble questions, in humble way. And then he will fix that, oh, I should make and then it takes initiation in real sense. And then he follows the instructions of Gurudev and serves as a friend. Oh, by chanting these names, Chetodha, with a relation with Krishna, then Chetodha, the marginal body. Otherwise, no. This is the process. A transcendental man can come in the world. 
and then really our chetra dharma will be other by the more chetra dharma that is why our chetra dharma marjanam is not going very little little and again some dust comes what dust okay chance great okay try to hear and then question So, if a devotee takes to the process of sankirtan in the association of pure devotees, chanting with sambandha gyan, and yeah. giving up all aparad and all anartha, then chaito darpana marjanam. This sambandha gyan, not high class of gyan, ordinary sambandha gyan. Krishna is our most devotee. He is eternal. Sorry. What is the meaning of chaito darpana marjanam? Yes. One will firmly be established in the uh, in the concept that we are not this body and we are spirit souls, and thus he will, with this discrimination, clear the illusion between the body and mind and things related accordingly, and he will try to act on the platform that he is soul. Oh. So then gradually. Yeah, yeah. Marjana means cleansing. Darpa is the mirror, and Cheta, um, and, uh, and Cheta is the consciousness, the, with the fine mirror between our srupsiddhi and our conditioned self. What are the what is the dust by which it is covered? Uh, identification in the, in the material body, in the material designation, mind, body. Oh, so many requirements. What do you require? Position. Oh, unwanted things. Attach attachment towards the thing. So much attached to lady, and so many things that is cooty, naughty, and all that. They will be removed, but not totally. Not totally. But he can see his uh, heart, and sometimes Krishna also. In what way? Only by words, not really. But he will uh, realize something. And when it is Chetul Madan going on. Then a desire to serve Krishna and a taste in name and hearing katha milk. These are the symptoms. Then you can think. Like you have a library. There are so many alvias. The what? Those of the or with glass covered. The lock is there. Books are there. Oh, the life of Prabhupada. Oh, the Shrimad Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Chaitanya. All are written there. But can you touch? No. Why? Glass is there. <laughs> so you can realize something there. But even the doors of Covered up. Mahatattva is there. Very fine covering is there. Even so many anarchs. No good thick relation. No taste so much. But it is complete. So this is Chaitanya Mahatma. Bhava Mahat Tavagni Nirvapanam. Bhava Mahat Tavagni. Because the conditioned soul identifies with his body. Then he is subjected to so many different types of fear and suffering, but when he understands, I am the eternal servant of Krishna, because now his heart is becoming clear by the influence of the transcendental chanting of Hari Nam, then all sufferings, all sorrows, all anxiety, and all fear quickly goes away. This is called Baba Mahadavagni Nirvapanam, that the suffering of this material world 
which is like a blazing forest fire. It becomes extinguished by the influence of the chanting of the holy names. Anyone can more explain? More? Uh, in the association of high class advanced devotees, we become aware what is really bhakti, pure bhakti. This is the then by practicing this pure bhakti automatically all our problems, all our difficulties will go away and so many wonderful auspicious opportunities we see everywhere to render service. Bhava Mahadavagni Nirvavana means Bhava means to taking birth and again going to death. So we are coming in this world for timing unlimited, we are taking birth and going to death again and again by cyclic order. So by the influence of chanting transcendental harinam, this Bhava means to coming and going from this earth, coming and going to death, it will be stopped. This is Mahabhavat, this is Bhavata Bhagni, it will be stopped. So this is also one point of this. More? And more com points? Coming in this world, we are suffering in threefold miseries. Adhatmik, Adidoivik, Adibhautik. So all living entities, especially human beings, they are suffering all these miseries being in this world. So if we chant holy name, by, in, by influence of chanting pure holy name, then it will be also stopped. Oh, a very a strong dog was going on the road. And he has something in his mouth. And so many dogs were following. They were trying to take and to attack that dog. Oh, so many, twenty or more than twenty dogs. Oh, in the meantime, his master came at once with a stick. Gun, a stick. And all the dogs ran away. And now he is very bold and barking towards them. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> Oh, for this example you should see that so many unwanted things on earth, uh, upper earth, where with that devotee. But he, Cheto Marjanam, came and he offered his whole life, whole senses and everything, oh, and became Sharanatata. Hmm? And he he surrendered, then who will protect him and save him? Who will surrender? Then if, if he surrendered and Krishna is there, then all kinds of bhaumaha dhavagni, means all the suffering, sorrows, problems, the pain of birth and death, all the How means? Oh, to take birth and to die and to always burning in three-folded misery. This is how Mahatma. Oh, when you are oh, surrender. And Krishna has and now you are chanting some word. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Krishna is not different work with them. Oh, he will come at once and he is all born. So all threefold miseries and all Mahasadhana will at once go away if you are in post and with all oh, strong faith like this. Sreyakaravachandrika <coughs> Vitana. Is that where the, the moon of auspiciousness comes and gives us nourishment? Getting mercy? Shreya Kairava Chandrika Vitaranam, the moon of auspiciousness? 
the example is given of the lotus uh, by the influence of the moon starting to bloom always leaves me and the here this spreads the white lotus of good fortune to all the living entities okay spreads the white lotus of good fortune to all living okay. entities what Lotus can come. The misconception of the body as the self. The misconception. So it has gone in first chapter of that one matter. Oh, if anyone living with me, then they should know all. You Japan. The um. Try to see. The rays of the benediction moon um, being the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That before um, the time of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, um, there were not such high conceptions. Of if you can. Shaya Kairava Chandra Kavitaranam. Here. Very important thing. If you are uh, uh, chanting name in this process, oh, the seven fruits will come and you will realize and taste. And if not, then even Sadhya has not come. You are fallen and it will, by symptoms, or you will go. And you will be very weak and very far away. The third wonderful result which is attained by chanting Hare Krishna after the cleansing of the heart and the extinguishing of the forest fire of material existence is that Shuddha Sattva, Bhava Bhakti makes its appearance within the heart of the sadhak and thus his life becomes auspicious because his transcendental identity becomes awakened. This is called Shreya Kairava Chandra Kavitaranam. Shuddha Sattva Vishay Shatma Prema Suryangsu Samyabak Ruchi Vir Chitamasrinya Kridaso Bhava Uchate. When the essence of Samvit Shakti, the knowledge potency, and Ladini Shakti, the pleasure potency, what is Kairo Hati Chandrika? Hmm. Chandrika means this, the Harinam. And by the influence of Harinam, Shuddha Sattva, which is the rays of the Shuddha Sattva. Kairava. Kairava means the uh, lotus. Chandrika is the moon. The name is Chandrika Chandra himself. Mm -hmm. Moon. Moon has the rays. In moon rays, also much nectar. Wow. Nectar. Nectar. And by nectar, what will be? Or by these rays, or all the lotus will be in bosom and mother will be in, in honey and then black who is black be? So devotee is like lotus and name is like Chandra. If he is chanting in this way how the Mahadavagni has gone away. And in the guidance of high class of pure Rashik Tattva Vaishnava, our Guru, he chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Oh, this name will give his Kiran, race, race. and in the race, what is there? Honey, nectar. What nectar? Oh, Krishna. How? Oh. And it will come, and all the devotees will be in Buddha. What is the meaning? All kind of auspicious things will come. First, all kind of place will go. Place means? And all kinds of virtues of good qualities will come. You will be humble. Pina, Dapi, Suni. Tarurapisha Hishunana, Amanina, Manodha. 
they have been tolerant and so many qualities and he will have taste so peace will come by the mercy of all men Krishna then what Vidya Vaduji on that topic time is now over we will next day we will explain very well and you should try to know all these things and then chant all your name your high class first class and you realize your cheto darpan marjana how maha dhava sriya kaira bachan oh then no question of or the degree now all the little progress कौन प्रभार हरे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे
these names are not full transcendental. They are also related. They are transcendental, but they are now related with one. Second cause of it. Why? Ishwar. What is the meaning of Ishwar? Ishwar. Huh? In Golok Pindavan, he are in any transcendental world like Parabhyami, Ekuntha, no Ishwar, no Paramatma, no Karnadhi Sai no Bhargata Sai Vishnu, no Jagannath, no Brahma. When this world was created and for the de not devotees, for general mass, for they should do like this. But really not for transcendent. So, High class of devotees, pure devotees, or oh, they had no concern with these names. But if when these names are aimed for Krishna, like Jagannath, O oh, Jagannath, O oh, Jagannath, Jagat means three words Golo, Dwarka Puri, Mathura Puri and Vrindavan Praja, this jagat, related, not to this one, <coughs> a pure group to go to But even, they don't lie. Then transcendental land, don't close your eyes, or try to see, oh, well, from beginning of your children, try to, try to sit like Otherwise, sleep in <coughs> Also, transcendental names are divided into two. Those who are related with Aswarya, Apulans, Naran, four hundred. He cannot descend. His name can come. So having so much affluence, Narayana, many devotees cannot embrace him. Even Narada, Jayadija, Sanat Sanantan, Sanat Kumar, any devotee, even Lakshmi, in presence of the devotees, oh, he will be fallen, or good. They cannot serve. So these names have only two and a half rushes, not more than that. So these are Aswajya Parakya, with the and from our Madhurjya. It may be apparent so much. Krishna is taking Govardhan on his finger very easily. But same boy of only five years, seven years. No appliance, but oh, it's the highest appliance. But it is mother. So he is called Giridhari. Giridhari means? Giridhari. But very sweet. Very soft. Hmm? Oh, smiling on four towards go gopis. Especially his two eyes are searching anything. Hmm? Are searching. <coughs> so this is Giridhari. Happiness maybe, but this name has very sweet. So this is Madhu. Ram. What is this? Two kinds of Ram. With affluence and without? Without Covered. <laughs> when Ram, Baladere, Balaram and Ram, Sita Ram, they are with affluence. But friend or Radha Ramandra, then what it becomes? 
ಮಾಡುವುದು ಆಗ ತಮನಿ ಜಶೋದಾನಂದ ನೋ ನಂದ ಶೋನು ಪ್ರಣತ ಕರುಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಿತ್ಯ ಅನೇಕ ಸ್ವರೂಪಿ ತೈನು ಮುದಿಚು ಮಧುಸೂದನ್ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಗೋಪಿನಾಥ್ ಮದನ್ ಮೋಹನ್ ರಾಜ್ ಬಿಹಾರಿ ಶ್ಯಾಮ್ ಸುಂದರ್ ರಾಧಾರಮ ಕುಂಜ್ ಬಿಹಾರಿ ಮಧುಸೂದನ್ ಮುಕುಂದ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಶಾರ್ ಮಾಧುಜ್ so in this name also they are divided especially in three gopal who is gopal covered friend gopal and then oh jasoda mai avat tell him what name kanaiya damodar right damodar space damodar and gopis no krishna never sham sunda all the gopis will tell radha rama but not radhika radha rama will be gopinath pran vallabha so sweetness depends on the high class of level of devotees all mahaprabhu is weeping and telling oh krishna was so much you have come in the shape of this name transcendent of names so that even those who are not devotees they can chant those who are devotees they can chant those who are more higher most higher for all there is no rule and regulation that in night you should not do like anhit you cannot do in night after sunset or you can sandhya ki sandhya even surjast ke baad mein surjast ke samay karna chahiye ab log nahi kar sakte to kya kiya jaye surjast no no at the time of surjast and no sun is going to say you can oh within oh, half an hour one hour after sunset or at the time of sunset it is very good time when sun is coming or before you can this is the best time what I am and you can say no no rule and regulation that you in night in 12 at night you cannot do this month but you can chant hare krishna hare krishna no even you are going to store no art but with not mala hare or it is not necessary that you should take bath and then you should chant <coughs> but for gayatri mantra it is essential you should take bath you cannot take bath anyhow any disease or anything then take some water and do chakma this is more better than but you will have to change your course so there are so many things in night you cannot do all these things but for name oh for chanting no but in hearing there is some rule what rule there is for bona fide any devotees you can hear from them not pack bogus cheaters having so much lust and all worldly desire you should never have 
otherwise his defect will come in you. This is some rule. Also rule that you should go to anywhere where is Harikatha is going on, then by your Lord. You should do pranam for your heart. No from from your head. From all to the devotees who are there, to the speaker. And then otherwise the this harikatha will not be affected. If you have no honor for that speaker, audience, harikatha, praise, oh harikatha is himself Krishna. Not less than Krishna. So he will see, she will see, and he will not come in your heart. Krishna will not come in your heart. So there are some rules. Smarana. So many rules and regulations. You are going anywhere. You cannot. If you are not one pointed, sitting like this, chanting her name, automatically all the past three pounds of Krishna. These <coughs> are walking, joking, we are going, traveling, in car, you cannot. So for all these things there are some rules and but for chanting name you have got no rule and regulation. Anywhere in the night, midnight, without taking bath, after taking bath. In walking, also in aeroplane, or here, there. If you are pure, not pure, if anyone is uh, uh, died, and you are going to crimination, or you are going, oh, you can chant, no harm. No mala, no harm. What you can chant? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. So he is weeping that he was so merciful and it's stupid, nonsense. And Swamiji were rascal. They can also chant them, yeah, no harm. So you are so much gone, unlimited you are gone. Myself, so weak, wretched. That I have no taste in such a powerful name. I think that you should all keep your hands and what judge with this example. When you have taste, so much a regard, then your wife, children, and your jobs, money, or not. Then how this love and affection for Krishna may come? It is also, the Nam is also passion. Himself Krishna. He thinks that I should go in his heart or not. If there is any desire or not, and if I am going and if there are so many desires and questions of Parad then all things, then what should I? Oh, they will always pinch me. Prabhu, oh, I want this, I want this. Very beautiful lady, very beautiful husband. She does so many things. So I, I will not go. Sri Krishna, never go. So I am so unfortunate. He is weeping. Durtaivam idrisham. Idrisham means that I told. Iha janu nanura. Nanura. I have no taste. Anura. Here he is dead. What Anura? He is lamenting. Sne, Prem, Sne, Maan, Ra. And then Anura. I have an Anura. He is lamenting for Anura. But we should lament for any pure. Any pure. Anurag means, or oh, the seventh slogan, Chugayitam Nimishena Chakshusa Prabhrishayitam Shunyayim Jagatasarabam Govindavari. One point. Always waiting, lamenting. 
Yugaita. One moment in separation, or when I am not chanting, no taste, oh, like, oh, thousands and thousands of Yuga, not like jokes. You should try to know Yuga. And in meeting or oh, chanting name, and if there is something, test, and very easily thousands of jokes, oh, they go in a moment. This is the mode of Srimati Radhika. So he is lamenting and telling me, Oh Prabhu, I want that you should be merciful. Without your help, I cannot. No taste. If there is taste in Harinam, <coughs> in hearing katha, first to hearing katha, by not, if anyone is not hearing, so soundly and strongly Harikatha from superiors. No test come. Never any test will come. So try to see this thing. Understand this thing. If you want to really Krishna, oh, you will have to one point. Not to see here and there. And daily <coughs> you should take one tester that my bhakti is going increasing or decreasing or in the same platform. If decreasing, why? If increasing, why good? <coughs> Not as stagnant. stagnant. Or it is also Why? Or something is wrong. So we should try. If you are doing like this, what is that do by you? What is that defect for which he is weeping? Namaparad, Vaishnavaparad, Dhamaparad, insulting of Vaishnav, criticism <coughs> of Vaishnav, pure devotee. Even you are not willing to hear the criticism of any pure devotee, but anyhow you are hearing and not opposing, not cutting his tongue or his argument, just talking. Then at once give up this place and take bath with your whole body. Otherwise you will have to taste the fruit of Nama Parada. Anyhow, be very careful. Nama Parada. Krishna cannot tolerate. Nam Prabhu cannot tolerate. Oh, Nama Parath. You should know all these things. There are ten kinds of Nama Parath. First part, not Guru Aparath. Oh, Satan. What is the meaning of Satan in the Prabhu? You criticize devotees who have devoted their lives spreading the holy name's glory. If anyone is doing, Chanting also, remembering, serving in so way, and he thinks that I am doing bhakti. But he is criticizing, offending. Then what will be? It is the result. Very soon, his bhakti, lata, will be uprooted. At once. So try to be very careful. Nowadays, this is common. The laughing. Talking, oh, we criticize Krishna. For only worldly gain, something. For position and money. Thinking that my disciples are my property, not Krishna. And those who are like disciples, oh, I must obey my Guru. If my Guru they is telling that with a gun you should shoot this. High class of devotee, no harm. <laughs> oh, this is my Guru Seva, and I will go to Golok Bhagavad <laughs> Now it is going on. So many revolvers are going here, there, like this. Oh, I can go anything from my Guru. And Guruji's Bhagavad 
this actually is both are bogus. They will both not help. Oh, Krishna was uh, had to create new, very serious, <laughs> and different of different kind of help. This, this, <laughs> not sufficient. So, be clear in this subject. So, also, be very careful. Try to serve Guru fully, but not bogus gurus. By all these symptoms, you can see what your devotees who are not. We have come all not for any committee, not for institution, not for any person. Always remind this. For whom we have come? To serve Karada Krishna Kandiva. To develop our Krishna consciousness, we have come. We have come to Guru. Why? For this. But if a Guru cannot help, oh, we should give up that Guru. If he is against his Guru, Vaishnava, now he, maybe that he is not against his Guru then, but not understanding his deep meaning. Then he is not chanting even. Oh, I am remembering always. Not chanting. Always in worldly talks. They say to avoid it. Pure Guru, Pure Krishna should be respected. Otherwise, no bhakti. So, this is Namaparad, neglecting of Vaishnavas to criticize, to be no honor if Vaishnava is coming and I took a, a, an umbrella and I make a shade, I went oh. Understand what I told? Yes. No. 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 You should. If someone would take an umbrella to hide his face from a Vaishnava and go away so that he doesn't even see the face of that Vaishnava, that would be a very serious offense. If my Gurudev is telling, don't go to elevate any high class of devotees. Oh, at once you should try to follow Bali Maharaj. What Bali Maharaj did? Father, mother, making of right, you should don't go to high class of association that pure bhakti and pure Krishna Harikatha is going on. Then should we obey our father, mother, parents? No. Never. <coughs> These are two type And that is why Anurag is not coming. Even Shraddha is not coming. Taste is not coming. If you want to have a taste, you should be prepared to follow Chaitanya Maha. Go, Prima. Oh, uh, you said that the gopis don't say the name of Krishna. Yes. Because, Why? Because <coughs> Patibrata is three. Just in Indian culture, they don't tell their name, their husband. But that means they don't chant Hare Krishna? I thought Hare Krishna goes into Go Loka Vrindavan with us. They are not to chant like Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, like Mahalaya. <laughs> <laughs> their blood, their all organs, their atoms, atoms everything is Krishna. -like. So when we go uh, to go local Vrindavan, they cannot forget their Krishna. Always Krishna on their where? Manoratha, Dhanya, Prajastriya, Urukrama, Jnana. Always taking Krishna on their heart here, there, on all. So there are no rule regulations. So after we go to go local Vrindavan, we will chant Hare Krishna there? Oh, when you will go, then I will See. discuss all this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.